Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of RTA Genie. In this walkthrough, we will learn about the data table filter activity and merge data table activity under the data table activity section. So we have created two separate sequences, that is one for data table filter and the other for merge data table. In the first sequence, we have created a data table using the build data table activity. Uh, so this is a sample data table that I have created using name, department and salary as columns. You can create this data table using any columns of your choice. This is just an example. Then we will drag and drop the data table filter activity and we, in the options field we will uh, write in the condition as to which rows we want to filter and which rows we want to retain and then assign it to this variable var data table and finally we'll preview that data table. In the next sequence for merge data table, we'll create two separate data tables using the build data table activities again and then we will use the merge data table. Uh, so all the rows from this data table will get added to the first one and then we'll preview the data table. So let's see how we can create the sequence by using these activities. First we'll go with the data table filter activity. First I'll drag and drop the build data table activity. Click on edit data table. Click on edit column. Then there are three columns that I want to add. So first one name, data type string. Second one department. Again string type. Next one salary. This I'll change it to integer. Click on save. So as you can see name, department and salary has uh, appeared over here. Now we we'll click on add and I'll add some values. Okay, so I'll click on save. Next, I'll drag and drop the data table filter activity. The data table filter activity filters the data table. Now, let's, for the input section, uh, our input data table is var data table. So, I'll type in var data table here. And for the option section, we'll just click these three dots over here. And this include section if the radio button is clicked on the input section and when we click on add columns we can uh, type in the names of the columns that we want uh, it to show so for instance now we have three columns name department and salary now if i only want the name column to show and the salary column to show we can just type in name and salary click on next and in the next section, we'll add a rule wherein the salary is greater than 5000. Click on save and the output, we can either create a new uh, data, uh, variable for this or we can use the same one. I'm going to use the same one. After filtering, it should go back to this variable. So I'll use var data table again. And we'll preview this. So yeah, let's just click on save and see. As you can saw, we had four rows in the beginning and uh, one of them is filtered. So, and the condition that we gave was 
the salary should be greater than 5000 so there are three names where the salary was above 5000 and in the column section since we only give two columns name and salary as included those are the two columns that we can see and the de uh, department column uh, is not included so we'll just go ahead and close this now we'll just click on options again and similarly we can just uh, uh, use the exclude option for instance if we don't want the name to show uh, and we want the department and salary column to show then we'll just go ahead with name click on next I'll give the same condition salary greater than 5000 click on save and run the sequence As you can see, the name column doesn't appear over here. The department salary, department column and salary column is there. And these, uh, these are the salary where the salary is above 5,000. So yeah, that is it for uh, data table filter activity. Now let's move on to merge data table activity. Okay. So the first table, I'm going to use it from the previous sequence. So I'll just click on copy and paste it here. And uh, since there is no variable, I'll create a variable. Okay, so just make sure this is the same name. All right. Now next, I'll create another data table using the data table. So I'll click on edit data table, edit column, add. Again, we'll have three columns, name, department, and salary. I'll change it to integer and here we need to make a difference like uh, we have to check this allow null boxes and click on save and add in the values And save. Now we have two uh, data tables. Uh, I just want to quickly edit the column and uh, check the boxes for allow now. Save. save and uh, now I'll drag and drop the merge data table activity. The merge data table activity uh, here is for the merge data table activity. The current data table is merged with the specified data table. So here the source is, I will give it as var table 1 and I want to add the var table 1 to var data table. So that means this is our var data table and this is var data table 1. We will add var data table 1 that is the second one to the first one. So our destination is the uh, first one and here we can, there is option of miss, missing schema action. I am giving it as add. We can also merge it using uh, other options like add with key, error, or if not, but I'm going with, uh, ahead with add. Then finally, we'll just drag and drop the preview data table. Since the destination is var data table, the entire data table after adding will be in var data table. So I will give in var data table. Now let's click on save all and run the sequence. As you can see, this is the 
final data table after adding merging the first one had uh, the first data table had first rows up to here and the second one had from here the last three rows it has added to one uh, to our data table and uh, it's been merged and the whole uh, data table all the rows have been added uh, so yeah that's all for this video thanks for watching